Cindy was having a bad day. She'd been happily playing in the park until her brother Bobby wouldn't let her have a turn on the swing. Cindy was so annoyed that she stopped off to sulk by the old oak tree. Humph! She kicked the old tree in a temper. Ouch! That wasn't very nice, said the tree. Cindy was taken aback. She'd never met a talking tree. I'm not mean. It was Bobby's fault. He put me in a bad mood. The tree looked at Cindy as though she should know better. Well, maybe somebody put Bobby in a bad mood. Then he was grumpy, so he put you in a bad mood, and now you've put me in a bad mood. The tree crossed his branches and huffed. You know bad moods spread like dark storm clouds, but just a little love goes a long way to brighten the day. Cindy thought for a moment. Then she ran over to hug Bobby. Bobby hugged Cindy back and told her he was sorry. Cindy whispered in Bobby's ear about the talking tree. Then together they ran over to hug the old tree. See? Feels better, doesn't it? The old tree smiled. Cindy was having a bad day. She'd been happily playing in the park until her brother Bobby wouldn't let her have a turn on the swing. Cindy was so annoyed that she stopped off to sulk by the old oak tree. Humph! She kicked the old tree in a temper. Ouch! That wasn't very nice, said the tree. Cindy was taken aback. She'd never met a talking tree. I'm not mean. It was Bobby's fault. He put me in a bad mood. The tree looked at Cindy as though she should know better. Well, maybe somebody put Bobby in a bad mood. Then he was grumpy, so he put you in a bad mood, and now you've put me in a bad mood. The tree crossed his branches and huffed. You know bad moods spread like dark storm clouds, but just a little love goes a long way to brighten the day. Cindy thought for a moment. Then she ran over to hug Bobby.